Hey Andre, how are you? I've been working on a project recently for the UI Bank web app. It's a web application that allows our customers to apply loans and to sign up for accounts. And my job is to create a comprehensive regression test set to make sure that we ship a working product and provide first class user experience to our customers. We track our user stories in Jira. Here I have an example story for applying for loan and fortunately UiPath Test Manager lets me automatically sync every new story uh, into my requirements section on Test Manager side where I can assign my automated test cases to it and project my test results directly on those requirements. When I identify the bug, I can automatically file an incident in Jira including all the relevant information. And within Studio Pro here, I've created my automated test cases. I sync them with our project within GitHub. So basically we store our test cases under version control side by side with our application source code. And this is great, uh, as we can always pull the latest application code together with the matching test cases. Everything is in sync and everything is up to date. Now, we would like to run our functional tests frequently with every check-in, with every build, and change that has been introduced to the UI bank, which is why I have set up a pipeline within Azure DevOps using the UI path plugin to kick off the test execution. And this is great, but I have one problem. I would like to run a test set of functional test cases with every commit. And typically we have about 20 commits a day, which would mean that I have to have my 10 test robots up and running all the time ready for execution. The problem now is, if I run a set of 100 test cases, on a single robot it takes more than an hour for our developers uh, until the build is finished. So I did some research and I stumbled over UiPath's auto-scaling solution. The question is now, can you probably tell me more about that solution and help me set that up in my environment? Hi, Thomas. Sure. Okay. So yeah, the robot auto scaling solution can definitely uh, help. First of all, let me tell you a bit about it. Uh, you can get the solution for free from our UiPath marketplace. Uh, the sources are available. The packages are available. If you want to simply go ahead and uh, deploy it. And you also have a detailed documentation. How does it work? Well, the incoming uh, pending jobs from uh, the test cases from in our orchestrator will be acting as a trigger. Uh, the processing job of uh, robot auto scaling is actually looking how many available robots you have for those pending jobs. And uh, if you don't have enough, it will allocate additional robots for you. And as you can see from uh, this diagram, the solution works with both cloud and on-prem environments and you can define detailed rules at folder level even. So for one folder, let's say you have an application and you want for it robots that are always running, five of them and 10 that are allocated on demand. For another folder, you could have a totally different environment for your test automation robots, a different application to test and also different auto scaling rules. So it's really powerful and really flexible. Besides helping you with the dynamic allocation based on the test cases jobs load, it can also help you keep, keep costs low with your RPA robots deployment since you're only using the virtual machines, the, ser the robot uh, servers, when there is demand for them. The solution is actually powered by the UiPath IT automation official activities that enable us to automate all areas of our IT ecosystem. They are freely available on our official feed, background running and very secure. In today's DevOps space, complex infrastructure as code is the norm. However, with UiPath's workflows built with the easy to use drag and drop activities, simple visual diagrams are the ones actually creating, configuring the infrastructure. So when we couple UiPath test suite and IT automation, it makes life much simpler for DevOps. Besides auto-scaling the test automation robots, as part of the DevOps pipeline, I also have an IT automation workflow that will deploy and configure for us the application server for your test cases to run against. Okay, so let's start the, the pipeline manually. Okay. OK, 
Okay, it's authenticating against orchestrator and now it's starting the job. For these pending jobs, we have uh, nine test automation robots. All of them are currently uh, not available. They're disconnected. And the robot auto scaling solution will actually allocate for them the virtual machines in Azure. They will start these robot VMs and when ready, it takes around two minutes for, for the servers to boot, they will take on these uh, pending jobs. The robot auto scaling solution has started to power on some of these robot VMs. Soon enough, we should see all of them running and starting. Yep, here they are. Okay, so the, the robot machines are ready now. You can see here robots uh, coming online. Yep. And they're being assigned run times and as you can see they took on pending jobs yeah let's take a look at our test cases beautiful so yeah they're executing in in parallel and soon enough yeah all these jobs will be uh, completed ready okay so now the Test cases, the, the testing jobs have finished uh, executing, some successful, some faulted. And now we're going to wait for the robot auto scaling solution to kick in. It will see that there are no more pending jobs and it will proceed to deallocate the robot uh, machines. Yep, and here you have it, all of them disconnected. And in Azure, all of them either or deallocating or already deallocated. So as you can see, Thomas, the official UiPath IT automation activities can definitely help with your pain point and the robot auto scaling solution that is powered by them will help a lot uh, with your dynamic uh, workload with the robots allocation, as well as with uh, cost savings for your RPA uh, deployment for your RPA operations.